So today's video, I want to go over three essential cardiovascular exercises that uh, overweight people uh, should be uh, doing. Now, why am I strictly talking about overweight people? Well, for the sake of this video, uh, there are some uh, challenges that uh, and some problems that can occur if you choose the wrong type of activity, especially when you're overweight. Uh, case in point, I went to the gym the other day, and although commendable, I did see a, pay, a person that was a pretty heavy set, and they were running on the treadmill. Now, like I said, that's commendable, and I'm so glad that this person has decided to take uh, matters in their own hands and try to uh, lose weight and lead a healthier lifestyle by running. Unfortunately, uh, especially on the treadmill, running uh, can cause a lot of uh, wear and tear on your ligaments, your joints, your ankles, your knees, the whole nine yards. The amount of force that is pounding on, on, on the treadmill or on the pavement or outside or wherever you go running, it is a lot of weight. And especially if you're not seasoned and you have a lot of weight and, and also, like I said, if you're not, you're not a seasoned runner and you don't have proper gait and proper running technique, you can run the risk of getting a big time injury. So that's why what I recommend is avoid the running for now if you're overweight and go over these three, go over, perform these three exercises. One, swimming, very self-explanatory. You're in the water, you're floating, you're floating along like this. It's great for the heart, it's great for the lungs. A lot of people love it, it's fun. It's not as monotonous as running in my opinion. So if you can, a lot of gyms do offer swimming pools or if you live in an apartment complex or a condo, you can use that public uh, facility and go swimming. And you can reap the benefits of burning a lot of calories and help um, help your heart with uh, better heart health and your lungs. The second one, the second exercise is the elliptical. Um, I honestly do prefer running over elliptical, but for the sake of this video, if you're uh, overweight, and or obese, um, the elliptical is a good option because as you're going on it, you're not slamming your your uh, you're not slamming your feet on the on the treadmill. And the third would the third exercise would be the stationary bike. Um, I do like to use this from time to time, and it's good. And with these exercises, real quick, uh, with the exception of swimming, with the elliptical and with the stationary bike you can even do some high intensity interval training that's where a period in which you um, pedal you pedal or you sprint really hard as fast as you can for about one minute 45 seconds to a minute and then you rest or you, you you cruise for about 30 seconds and you repeat this i did a video on high intensity interval training on on the uh, high school track years ago if you want to check that out i'll put that video at the end of this video but uh, that, that's a good option to have. So in a quick nutshell, um, try to avoid the running if you're overweight for now. Even though uh, running is a great exercise, and I do miss it, but I do have a lot of leg injuries myself, it's not worth the, uh, the risk of getting an injury. The last thing you want to do, especially when you're starting your fitness journey or any time you're starting your health and fitness journey, is you don't want to run the risk of getting an injury because that's going to set you back you're going to start getting demotivated it's going to be harder to rebound back i know you can do it but it's going to be hard so why risk that so stick to the low impact type of exercises uh, avoid the running once you start to lose weight then if you want to start running and you have a hunkering to run go right on ahead but make sure you start off gradual don't be a weekend warrior. Don't be an idiot like me who, who's done that before. And don't be running on five, six miles right off the bat because guess what? You're going to get another injury. Start off gradual. And if you do feel some pain, listen to your body. Don't be an idiot. Learn from my mistakes. Have someone check out um, your running technique, uh, a specialist. Um, and... Uh, slow down the mileage and then um, once you start to feel a little bit better and you find out what the reason why you still have pain then you could resume the running and then you can try again so that's my time thanks for watching comments questions always welcome
subscribe for more content if not already two to three new videos per week i'll catch you next time bye